Hello again, girls. I uh, just want to touch base with you. I'll try to pull this video together for you. And in regards to um, the darn camera shut off uh, when I was getting ready to knead, like I told you, I was taking that bowl and uh, let's see. That, that bread bowl that had the uh, uh, dough in it, and I took it and I turned it over, and it was basically it would have been um, all that dough and the flour looking kind of like a jumbled up mess very gently put it on the counter scraped it out and imagine that on the counter here uh, there is this flour and dough mess and you're like oh boy what I'm gonna do and you just very gently work it together and a little bit later in the video uh, you'll see where you've got this nice ball you do not have to, add, have to add any extra flour. If you want to put oil on your hands, that's fine. Um, keeps the dough from sticking to your hands too much. But you just kind of work it and you'll get that ball. It takes a while. might be uh, uh, five, maybe ten minutes, um, uh, just depending. You know, maybe size of hands, power, whatever have you, I don't know. Um, I'll time it some other time. Anyways, uh, yeah, you'll make that ball and then you'll uh, set that ball off to the side. You'll take your bowl and place it over that ball without the salt in it. Then I'll explain that a little bit later um, in, the, in the video. Please realize that in the video, I'm, a little bit later, I mentioned four teaspoons of salt. That was wrong. It's for the recipe that I sent you, it's two teaspoons because uh, you're just, the recipe I sent you is for one loaf of bread. And for that one loaf of bread, it's two teaspoons. The standard recipe that Nancy Silverton has in her book um, is for two loaves, so of course, four teaspoons of, sh uh, four teaspoons of salt. And so, my apologies. <laughs> okay, anyways, in regards to, you remember that jar that I had my starter in? This jar here. Um, this works great. Uh, that little bit of maybe two ounces of starter that I had. Uh, uh, from the refrigerator, I put I put some of it in here, and I put in the three quarter cups of flour and three quarter cups of water. Stirred it up and closed it up. That's perfect for the one loaf of bread. If you're going to make a double batch, you're going to want to go with the bigger jar. Now this jar, eh, it's a three cup jar. Uh, what is it? A uh, I don't know what in the world kind of jar they call it, but basically it's a canning jar. It's a three cup jar, and this is a better size. Okay, for uh, because here you're going to want to put in one and a half cups of flour and just shy of one and a half cups of water. Stir that in along with your uh, starter from the refrigerator, and then that starter from the refrigerator is turning this whole jar uh, filled with the flour and the water into starter. Make sure you've got a little bit of leftover so you can put it back in your jar that goes in the fridge so you're ready to go for the next time. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Um, the, the video should be coming back to where um, I'm going to be adding salt to that uh, ball of dough. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.